Good morning. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, I am in my little cocoon pod car in Clovis, New Mexico, and that's just nine miles from the Texas border. And this camera isn't sensitive enough to pick it up, but the wind outside is howling like mad, and it even sways my car a little bit. So I really feel like I am in a cocoon that's clinging to a branch of a tree in winter and the wind is just swaying me, singing the sweetest lullaby. It's so romantic, it really is, it's great. But I wanna give you a tour of my uh, domicile. So I'll flip the camera around and um, here uh, in all of my windows I have foam core and I trim it to fit the windows. Actually, I trim it a little bigger than the windows so I can smash it in. One side's black and that absorbs light. I use this on um, to light movie sets. And the other side is white and that reflects the light. So the white side goes outside so no one can look in and the black helps absorb light. And then over here we have the view outside my window so it's a room with a view and back here we've got the back window and i screwed up i you can see here i didn't i didn't cut this well enough so it did stop sticking in my window so i am a very creative so i use my yoga mat and my uh, electric ukulele in its case to double as ceiling pillars to hold up that foam core in the back. And Debbie, you will be pleased to know I brought lots of bedding. I've got a comforter. I've got my sleeping bag. I've got another comforter. I've got this luxurious mattress pad. I mean, check out how thick that sucker is, man. It's, it's really cush. And I mean, I'm so warm that I don't even have to wear socks because I hate wearing socks to sleep. That's just nasty. And let's see, over here I have my laundry room and here's my walk-in closet. Oh, here's a good travel tip. Shoes. Shoes are awesome because you can use them to store stuff uh, like your keys so you don't lose them. Over here we have my mic stand, and here is my music stand, since I still don't have my music memorized. And I always park so that I can pull straight out, and um, I always keep my driver's seat empty. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just paranoid. I do this in case I need to make a quick getaway. And let's see. I'm crawling up front a bit. Um, this is a writing tablet um, for my creative work. And we have a sunshade in the front roof. Um, it's falling down a little bit. I've got ukuleles under that too. Two more oops. And then over here we have uh, mala beads for protection. And then uh, I've got my serious photo of Yoshi Gish um, and that builds confidence for me because when I'm doing something scary like coming down a steep mountain I just glance at that photo because it really speaks to me it's like he's saying you got this girly go for it so it helps and oh yeah this is cool looks like in designs are really awesome um, I've got a moon roof if I want to see out up above or not and over here this is totally cool um, this is my night light for reading isn't that awesome such a cool design so anyway as you can see I have everything that a touring ukulele musician could possibly want. Um, I've got it all. Well, I don't have you. You're not here. 
I ain't got you. Huh. But where the hell would I put you? I mean, you're not going to want to sleep in the driver's seat, that's for sure. And no matter how much I like you, you're just not going to fit back here with me. There's just no way. So, I think that we need to get a psychedelic VW bus. Yes, that would do it. That would do it. Because then we could fit like keyboards and uh, bass. Crap, we could even fit an upright bass. Um, we could like get an accordion and a mandolin and a banjo and tons of ukuleles. And, you know, I think that would work really well. So, next trip, okay? Bye.